Eminem just broke the record for the rapper with the most subscribers on YouTube, and the single Houdini is on pace to break even more records. So I want to walk through some of those records that have been broken, that are about to be broken, and some of the new news we have about Eminem and his album. Now in the last video, I was pretty hyped about how Eminem made it onto the New Music Friday playlist so fast. I was reviewing the Houdini single, and basically the next day he was on the New Music Friday playlist. However, this is the Rap Caviar playlist. This is a public playlist with, you can see right here, 15.9 million likes. It's updated and refreshed very often, you can see right here, day added two days ago they just update it all the time with the newest rap music and eminem is still not on it now i was working on a video a couple days ago and i was gonna just throw that part in but i decided i'd give him a little more time to add it in in case they were gonna put it in the playlist but they still haven't so i don't think they will because you can see date added two days ago they're still working on it it's not like they haven't updated it yet the single's been out for like a week and a half so i guess we'll just have to wait to see but this is really how artists can blow up when you search for rap and you want to hear new rap music people often come to this playlist and just shuffle it see what they can find see what they like and if eminem was on this it would definitely boost them even higher and break those records even higher that we'll get into in a little bit something else that was kind of weird if you remember with the role model music video how eminem basically disappears like houdini Houdini was being hyped up a while ago and we searched Eminem Houdini and it came up with the role model music video. Now this is kind of weird. This is some new Eminem lore, I guess you could say. A couple days ago, if you went into the search bar and typed Eminem discography right here, you see right here, it shows all of his albums in the Death of Slim Shady with like a vinyl. It's basically a placeholder image right here. However, a couple days ago, that placeholder was not just that vinyl cover. It actually came up with this right here. Let me move my face cam. You can see Eminem with like the revival cover face palm looking disappointed, pointing a weapon at Slim Shady with the mask on. Obviously that goes with the name Death of Slim Shady, but this is not an official Eminem cover. There's like no thought behind this, no art behind it. It really looks like a placeholder itself. But I don't know why it, how it even got onto Google. If anyone can explain how someone got the image into right there, let me know. You can also keep scrolling through his discography and you can see Insomnia 2021, Straight From The Lab, which was not officially released. You can see Throne, King Mathers, Motion, just songs that he never dropped. So yeah, if you guys know why these appear right here, let me know down below. My biggest guess would be that it's a Google SEO issue. So basically, if you type... Eminem discography, it's gonna come up with his unreleased as well. Not the officially released albums that are on DSPs and on CDs and everything. But yeah, I just thought it was interesting that it did have a photo a placeholder photo and they just removed it and i guess we'll just have to see what the cover is because we still don't know something else for us to keep in mind eminem performing august 3rd 2024 this year in the los angeles stadium so my guess would be that he's performing his new album because august 3rd i mean that's the end of summer we know the album's coming sometime this summer and that might be the first live performance we get to see of the album so definitely hyped up to see that we got this community post that i made eminem becoming the first rapper in history to hit 60 million subscribers on youtube now that is insane to me because eminem is not from an era where his fans would go to youtube and subscribe he's from the era where people either bought the physical music or just pirated it so to see him pull numbers on youtube is honestly kind of surprising but definitely deserved proud to see that if you guys want to see eminem and just rap as a whole community post and polls for you guys to vote on that was kind of a bar right there then make sure to subscribe down below because i make videos about these all the time youtube shorts all that but let's keep going we had eminem single houdini making it onto the new york times square billboards if you want to call these definitely looks pretty sick we have spotify logo obviously eminem New Music Friday, that might be the playlist that I showed you in the last video. But either way, pretty cool to see his name getting back out there, getting people hyped up for this album. Because the more we see his face, the more performances, posts, that's what gets us hyped. And that's how this album can do big numbers and break even more records. Now, these numbers right here are not completely up to date because this is a little bit of an older screenshot. We'll get to the newer stuff in a second. But the first 24 hours, Houdini had just under 3 million streams. And I believe that's Spotify alone. Now, pulling numbers like that on the first day is very crazy because it's not like it was on playlists yet. It's not like it was hyped up, TikToks hadn't gone viral using it, all of that. And I think a lot of those numbers came from people buying the song, because if you go onto iTunes and you just buy the song, I think it's like 99 cents, it counts as 1,500 streams. So that's pretty sick, and I know a lot of people that support Eminem do like to buy his music. So pretty cool to see it performing so well right after it dropped. But then, a little bit later, you can see right here, June 4th, they posted Eminem's Houdini reaches a new peak of 8.5 million daily streams on Spotify, which is one of the biggest streaming days ever for a rap song. And remember this part right here, it said, it's now challenging for a potential top three debut on Billboard. The same page then posted Eminem's Houdini breaks the record for the most views in a week for a rap song on YouTube in 2024 with 38 million. And that was only five days after it released. I completely agree with this comment right here. Music video took the song to the next level, 10 out of 10 video. I completely love that music video. As I was writing the script, 
script to this video, I said Eminem is battling Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar, basically trying to get to number one spot, obviously, as you can see right here. It was in number two, but I took a couple days to record this video, and Houdini's number one on iTunes. So like I said earlier, it's really nice to see the love that the Eminem fans have been giving this song on not just YouTube, not just iTunes, but every streaming service. Okay, I know how random it looks for me to be pulling this up, but this is from the movie Sing 2. It's a Disney movie. I don't really need to describe too much about the movie, but just watch this part right here. This came out in 2022, so way before we were even thinking about the death of Slim Shady. We didn't know the concept or anything. Hi, my name is what? My name is who? My name is... <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's like he either took inspiration from the movie or he told them to do that. But either way, it went from Eminem's song to the song he samples. You heard the hook to My Name Is. They were basically performing that. And then you see whatever Houdini sampled. They were singing the Abracadabra hook. I thought that was interesting. So I looked at what else they were performing in Sing 2. And it didn't really look like he was going to use any of those things. But I also never would have expected an Abracadabra sample. So I don't really know. If you guys have seen this or you want to watch this clip, go ahead and let me know what you guys think he will use. Or if this is just a one-time thing, just a coincidence, I don't really know. Let me know what you think down below but yeah definitely strange something else you see right here eminem is number eight in the world this is a spotify screenshot 77 million monthly listeners unique people listening to him currently sitting at number eight but it's updating so fast that if by the time i'm editing this he's past number eight or he's dropped down below i'll put a screenshot up updating it pretty cool to see that i wouldn't be surprised when this album drops if he does get into the top five because even non-eminem fans will go and tune into what he drops. He's kind of known for making that impact on rap, so I think a lot of people do want to hear what he has to say. And yeah, that will probably boost his monthly listeners a good amount, and I'd love to see him go top five or even top three. Remember though, like I said, this is Spotify, so if you support him on Apple Music or YouTube or whatever you listen to him on, you're not going to be affecting these numbers. So this isn't like a perfect baseline to go off of, but I do believe Spotify is the number one app used for music, so that is something to keep in mind when you're looking at this. And yeah, I know I showed this screenshot a couple videos ago. But this is from a couple years ago, basically showing Eminem versus Slim Shady shows how long he's been working on this concept I think with a lot of his best albums like Kamikaze the Eminem show Marshall Mathers LP he dropped those very close to when his last album came out so like Kamikaze was a quick response to Revival Marshall Mathers LP was only the next year after Slim Shady LP and those were arguably some of his best projects so I feel like he works better when he's in the crunch time when he's almost hurried it feels like Revival had all the time in the world to get hyped up and then it got hated on Relapse had a lot of time to be hyped up and then it got hated on so when he takes a couple of years off it usually ends up dropping an album that people do not like However, with this, it seems like he's been planning it for so long. The lead single was amazing. The video to it was amazing. It really just gives me high hopes. I think he's in the perfect position to drop the best album of the year. He has a ton of hype from people already, and he hasn't even started, like, the big promo to it. I know the single came out, but he hasn't even showed the album cover. We don't know who's going to be on it. None of that info. Anyway, that's all the records we have broken by Eminem. Some of the newer info, some of the new stats that we do see. So much stuff is happening every day. Maybe by tomorrow, the numbers will change on all the things I just listed. But either way, it's cool to see the records that he is breaking the way he is topping the charts the way he is but anyway if you're interested in eminem and rap content make sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more eminem videos i got a card right here you can click that it'll just be a playlist full of eminem videos i have tier lists brackets rankings album reviews all of that so make sure to check that out i appreciate all of you being here to watch this give it a thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you didn't thanks for watching peace out